Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. I am the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour coming straight up after this TFNN noon update and I'm also the author of the opening call. Tonight at 5 o'clock to 6.30, I will be doing a webinar for subscribers. You can go to the front page, check it out. The Dow is down 92 at 27,944. Hit a high of 28,090 this morning, all-time high. Then Home Depot, of course, came out with uh, uh, kind of disappointing earnings. Uh, it is down sharply at this particular point. Home Depot is down 12 at 226. And that, too, was doing very well up until just... Yesterday, uh, yesterday was at an all-time high. It hit uh, the previous high of October was two. 238.99. That was October the 21st, and and yesterday it hit 239.31, 40 cents high, almost 40 cents high, and then kaboom, trading down the low today is already 225. That's quite a hit. And uh, it is impacting the Dow. The S&P is very reluctant to go down. This is what I was saying to subscribers. We've got to do this real carefully because the way the moving averages have held, the way the price is held, the way the price is starting to bump into very strong trend line resistance because there's no other way of measuring it. There's no left side high that you can go to. This is, these are all-time highs. You have to use trend lines. That says that the data is getting somewhat overbought and the weekly chart is still very strong, as is the monthly. The Q QQQ, actually, this is very interesting. The QQQ is up 0.48 at 2 or 3.55, meaning that the NASDAQ is still showing some strength, also a little bit overboard in the, on the short-term daily chart, but the weekly chart is very strong, as is the monthly. The IWM, which we've seen for a little while, has been a lag, and actually today's strengthening. It is up 0.74 at 159.25. It's trying to uh, res uh, push against resistance. It's doing quite nicely. And gold in this is going to be very important. Gold is up just a fraction at 14.72, stuck in this lower range. If it starts to trade in the 14.89 to 1493 area. That'll be good short term action, but so far it's looking like it's just in a big digester phase after hitting 1566 uh, in the continuous contract um, a couple of weeks ago, well, quite a few weeks ago, and now it's, it's digesting gains. But this is going to be very important. The dollar is still consolidating, hasn't been able to break into the 9870s, it's trading at 97, 99 right now, and the euro, EUR, USD, the currency pair. That is running quite nicely. It's also st stuck in the low range. We'll talk about crude oil and bonds when I get back. Basil Chapman, 